So what are some of the challenges of a first aid situation in zero G? How did you train for such a situation? Oh, okay. That's an interesting question. A first aid, the first aid situation? Okay. Yeah, first aid situation. Um, so I, I think that first examines, it requires an examination of the environment that space offers. So, you know, space is a microgravity environment uh, in a pressurized v v um, vessel, right? That is in, you know, in the depths of space. So what could, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. Um, I think certainly, probably maybe some of the more minor first aid things, you're floating around. So certainly you can bump your head, or bump a limb against something, a sharp object as you're going along. I think NASA, we do a good job of keeping out a close eye on some of those safety things. So perhaps that doesn't really happen too often. That's always a possibility. You know, so it can go from things as, as simple as a slight bruise or bump to something that's pretty extreme. And of course you could have, you know, a depressurization event or the EVA or the spacewalks that we do is one of the most high risk things that we do in microgravity. And that's because when you go outside the confines of the space station, you're in space. And the only thing saving you between um, from, from space is your life support system and your space suit. So that is in itself a space vehicle. It's just like an individual space vehicle. And the way it keeps you alive is it takes, you know, it, it protects you from radiation, protects you from heat, from cold. It uh, provides oxygen and it provides a pressurized environment. So you can have little things that happen, whereas you can have situations where a lot of bad things can happen. But fortunately, we have a lot of procedures in place, as well as medical procedures and medical supplies to be able to address any of those possibilities. Awesome. Thank you.